In 1981, in San Francisco, the shrewd sales rep and family man Chris Gardner puts the family reserve funds in Osteo Public Bone Thickness Scanners, a device two times as costly as a X-beam machine yet with a marginally more clear picture. This trinket monetarily breaks the family, carrying inconveniences to his relationship with his better half Linda, who passes on him and moves to New York where she has taken some work in a pizza parlor. Their child Christopher stays with Chris on the grounds that he and his significant other both realize that he will actually want to care more for him. With next to no cash or a spouse, yet dedicated to his child, Chris sees an opportunity to battle for a stockbroker temporary job position at senior member Witter, offering a really encouraging profession toward the finish of a six-month neglected preparing period. During that period, Chris goes through a ton of difficulty by and by and expertly. At the point when he assumes he is steady, he finds that he has lost $600 when the public authority takes the last piece of cash in his ledger for charges. He is delivered destitute in light of the fact that he can't pay his lease. He is constrained at one highlight stay in a washroom at a train station, and should scramble from work consistently to the Coast Commemoration Joined Methodist Church, which offers safe house to the destitute. He should go home early consistently so he is there by 5 o'clock at night alongside his child so he might be guaranteed of a spot to rest. He is seen conveying his bag to work since he doesn't have a home. At work, there are 19 different contender for the one position. At some point, he is called into an office and in it were the heads of Dignitary Witter. Chris feels that he is going to be informed the work won't be his as he says that he wore a shirt and tie for his last day. Then they let him know that he has been a magnificent learner and that tomorrow he should wear his shirt and tie again as it will be his most memorable day as an intermediary. Chris battles to keep down tears. Outside he starts to cry as the bustling individuals of San Francisco stroll past him. He hurries to his child's child care, embracing him and realizing that after all that him and his child had to deal with things would be okay. The last scene shows Chris strolling with his child down a road. His child is making him a wise crack, when a rich financial specialist in a suit strolls past. Chris thinks back as the man forges ahead. The man in the suit is, in all honesty, the genuine Chris Gardner. Thank you for watching and see you again in another movie story.